GSMTX4 is a small peptide, a small protein, about half as big as insulin, and we found it in a tarantula venom, but it's not poisonous. Well, GSMTX4 is a potential therapy for muscular dystrophy, but no one in their right mind would go look in spider spit for a way to cure muscular dystrophy. This is a spin-off of the value of basic research where we were studying how cells respond to mechanical inputs. We were not looking for a cure for muscular dystrophy and through serendipity we stumbled on the presence of this peptide in the venom and that it proved to be a good candidate as a therapy for muscular dystrophy. Last summer I got a call from Jeff Harvey whose grandson has muscular dystrophy. Jeff was poking around on the web looking for information about muscular dystrophy and he stumbled on our name for ha because we had been working on it. Gave me a call, we had lunch, and we thought about how we could possibly turn GSMTX4 into a drug. So we started a small company called Rose Pharmaceuticals. Muscular dystrophy is caused by a genetic defect in a protein called dystrophin, which is a long fibrous protein, kind of like a cell-sized rope that reinforces the cell surface. And as you know, when you make a mistake in a rope and you break it anywhere, you can't hold up a load anymore. And that's what happens to the cell in dystrophy. So the stress that used to be in it is now transferred to the cell membrane where there are a set of these mechanically sensitive ion channels open up and start leaking calcium into the cell, causing it to degenerate. This peptide, GSMTX4, acts to, to improve dystrophy by making it harder for these channels to open. I would love to see this therapy work for kids. It's for boys. This is a genetic disease of boys. Part, for two reasons. Number one, I would, it would, I would feel wonderful if these kids could get out of a wheelchair and walk away. Secondly, this whole process serves as an example of the value of basic research. Just follow your notes. Go see what's interesting. And along the way, you're going to find out things that have applications elsewhere.